cleared area transplant. I am Dr. Arvind Poswal from Dr. A's Clinic, Delhi, India, and today we will be talking about beard transplant and also moustache transplant. So there are a few conditions in which a patient may require beard transplant. One is that if he, if he doesn't have the beard at all, he may have a few hair maybe in some places, but apart from that, no hair at all on the beard. So in such a condition, we first of all ask the age of the patient. He, if he is around at least 22 or above, then we consider a transplant, not before that. Secondly, we also advise them to apply minoxidil lotion on this area. Sometimes that or minoxidil tablet, it can help some very fine hair thicken up. And in some people, it does give relief, it does give a bit thicker beard. In other people whom they do not have such beard, we can do a transplant. Apart from that, we have other conditions like if you have a burn scar or a surgery scar, sometimes you may have a cleft palate and sometimes you don't, a person may not have weird in this area because it has been tied very tightly, like in sick gentlemen. So whichever scenario is there, you have to understand a few things. Let's say you require only a limited number of grafts. That would be if you need some hair in this area or if there, this moustache is not connecting to the beard or if you have some patches in these areas. So this much will require maybe 500 to 1000 grafts at most. In such a situation, I will advise you that if you have a lot of hair growth in the neck area where your beard hair goes down towards your neck then this hair would be the preferred donor because this hair matches this and this hair in texture so best to take the hair which is closest in texture to the area where you are going to transplant but if you need a really large area where we need to transplant and you don't have any hair in this area also then we will need to use your head donor hair. We can use maybe pubic hair also, but they are not that much in numbers. And many people do not prefer to use them. So that brings us to the next question. That if a patient has virtually no beard. Now such patients often send us message, email, WhatsApp message, whatever. And they say that they want a beard. So it is my request that you should specify for the doctor how wide a beard you want unless we have the dimensions of your beard. How can we give you a graft estimate? And if I were to give you a graft estimate, let's say if a person has virtually no beard, just a bit here, that's all. And you have come for a transplant to recreate the beard. So first of all, I'll tell you that if I, we are going to use your head hair as donor by the fuse or FUE technique, then the texture of the head hair is slightly different from the texture of beard hair. It will be thinner, softer than your beard hair. That is one limitation. The second part, see if I have to place the hair close together, I can make this basic beard going all the way from here in around 2000 to 2500 grafts. Now if a person wants to become like Sunny Deol, that will require a lot more number of grafts. But I find sometimes people have this wrong expectations. They just ask the doctor, I need a beard. And then when we tell them, okay, we can do 3000 grafts maximum for you. Then they ask, okay, how much beard? Then I tell them, okay, this much will be there. So no, we want all over. See, if you want beard all over your face, then give me the donor. I cannot use someone else's donor. I cannot use my own hair. I cannot get buy hair from the chemist. First, see what donor you have. Then, ideally, what you should do is you take a marker pen and you mark this area. Okay, I want a beard like this or I want only this much beard, whatever you need, you mark it, take that much time. You can mark it on your own face or you can mark it on your picture also. 
we get that semi permanent marker pen it's very cheap it is available everywhere the other thing which you can do which will empower you a lot more is take a fine dot pen it should be fine so that it matches the dot made by the hair when you shave it so then you put those dots exactly where you need them there cannot be a more precise hair transplant than this keep on counting also that way you will come to know that we need thousands of grafts to make a beard not a couple of hundreds so do spend time because see this is your face you are not going to take chances with this you are not going to do, go to the cheapest doctor near you and tell him okay you are saying that you can do in so such less money so make my beard i have seen many patients was repenting that decision how because the doctors are maybe inexperienced they may not have done this thing ever before so what do they end up with they end up with hair that are maybe far apart they end up here which are actually growing like this i don't understand what that doctor was thinking when he was putting a hair which will grow like this from the cheek of a patient almost like a devil's hair or hair growing like this so all these require certain artistic ability in the hands of the doctor hands and the mind of the doctor he has to be able to visualize this is this should be the angle this should be the direction of the hair once it grows because the doctors make the slits we make the slit the needle goes in like this so the hair will also grow go in like this and it will come out like this only if i make it like this then the root will also go like this and the hair will grow side like this so when going for a transplant wake up the artist in you don't wait only for the doctor don't hope only for the doctor to be an artist it's like you going for your designer suit and you find in front of you a tailor who does not really understand the modern the latest artistic concepts so what do you do you try to teach him you tell him no do like this this will look better on me i want like this similarly for your beard you should be able to tell yes this is the beard i want whichever one you want you should be able to make points dots there count them and you should be able to tell him yes i need 350 grafts in this area that is the correct way of a beard hair transplant we can do it very easily it's not a difficult thing so if you have any requirements please let me know and if you have got a bad hair transplant bad beard transplant with hair pointing coming out in all the wrong directions do not lose hope we have corrected such beard transplant cases we will be taking the, out those grafts so that you don't have that ugly appearance and we can reuse those grafts for your beard also or for putting back into the donor area also if you have questions contact us by whatsapp or by email and remember these are very vital issues you should share this knowledge with everyone so like this channel share it and subscribe to it also thank you